The man accused of decapitating his wife in Waller County has now been officially charged. Waller County DA Elton Mathis says that Jared Dykus is now charged with first degree murder after he allegedly confessed. His bond has been set at $500,000. Tonight, a vigil was held for his victim, Angie Diaz. And Bryce Newberry, who was the first reporter to break this story last night at 10 o'clock, joins us now live from Waller County, where family and friends are gathering to honor her. Bryce? Keith and Daniela, this is the market where Angie Diaz worked for about the last three years or so, the owner tells us. And tonight, it's where those who knew her best gathered for a somber remembrance. Between candle flickers and tears, only memories are left of 21-year-old Angie Diaz. She had so many goals in life. Diaz worked for Veronica Jimenez at Chepez Meat Market in Magnolia, and like others, she cannot fathom the way her life was cut short. It's horrible, but the way and harsh and the evilness is, is just another level. Waller County Sheriff Troy Guidry says her 21-year-old husband, Jared Dykus, confessed to her murder at the home the couple shared on his parents' property. A gruesome scene at best. Investigators say Dykus decapitated Diaz using a kitchen knife. The couple had only been married since October. Jimenez shared this surveillance video, which she says shows Dykus coming into her market about 45 minutes after the sheriff estimates the brutal murder happened Wednesday. She says he left without paying for a beer. About five hours later is when deputies responded to the home on Oak Hollow Boulevard and made the horrific discovery. Y la familia necesita... Back at the market a day later, the young woman remembered as intelligent and hardworking. A neighbor telling us her smile lit up the room. Very bright girl. She's full of energy, ne never negative. And tonight it is not clear when Jared Dykus will be back in a Waller County courtroom. The DA here tells us it all depends on when the indictment comes down, and that could take a couple of weeks. We're live in Magnolia tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you.